Hi family, healthy hump days. I know I'm a day behind on this and we were starting our 12 week routine or fitness revolutionary whatever thing that I was going through and for some reason I decided to schedule this when I was moving and when I had yoga teacher training all week. Don't know what I was thinking but I tend to overdo myself like that. So we're actually gonna be starting it this week. But on that note, I wanted to share with you guys the fitness mindset because mindset is everything. And I actually did a study on this when I first became a personal trainer. I gave uh, people the ability to eat what they want, but work out as much as they want. And then this group was able to work out as much as or as little as they want, but they had to have a strict diet. And then I had also a group three, which had to have just a great mindset. The goal was to do the best that they can, work out when they can, eat as well as they can, but no guilt, no shame, no worry if they didn't do it perfectly. And of course, that last group excelled by far. So it's an interesting factor because having the right mindset when it comes to fitness, when it comes to making mistakes or not meeting your goals or just in life in general, it's going to make a huge difference. And a lot of people want to argue the fact that your mindset does nothing. If you're doing jumping jacks, you're going to get the same benefits as somebody over here who's putting their whole mindset into it. And I have to disagree with that, not only because of my own personal experience, but the results that have allowed me to get my clients more efficiency out of their workout. And it really has been based on that mindset. The reason being is yes, if you do jumping jacks, there's a minimum amount of effort required to complete that motion. So everybody at a minimum is going to get the same amount of benefits or effort going into that motion. But if you put somebody next to this person who's over here going, of course, they're going to get much more efficiency and much more benefits out of their motion. Their mind isn't distracted. It's causing every muscle to fire and trigger off. They're in complete alignment. They're breathing as efficiently as possible. So there's no doubt that this person is going to get better results than that person. This also goes with the brain chemistry that happens in your mind, which then reflects into your body. A lot of people look at the body and they say, well, my body is causing me issues. So that's making me lose my mind. I'm of the opposite belief in that your mind produces all sorts of chemicals. There's brain chemistry that goes on and in utilizing your mind, like let's say if you're sad or you're angry, you start feeling your heart rate go up or your blood pressure rise. This is pumping out more adrenal, uh, excuse me, adrenaline and cortisol, which is increasing the stress levels in your body. It gives you a physical response. So your mind has to say first, there's something to be afraid of. And then the chemicals are released. Then your body goes into fight or flight mode. This occurs in how you think about your diet and your exercise. So if you're saying, Oh, don't have that cake, Marin, don't have that cake. But then you go and eat the cake and then you're feeling so guilty and so ashamed afterwards your body is going to end up storing more of that cake. It's going to process it not as best as it possibly can because now it's being mixed with all these fat storing hormones, which cortisol is a major fat storing hormone because you're stressed and you're shamed and you're feeling guilty about it. I went through this and it caused me to have serious issues and stress every time I thought about every meal that I was going to eat. And, and finally one day I was like, screw it. I don't care if I'm going to eat six times a week. I don't care if I'm going to eat at 10 PM, uh, you know, nothing all day and 10 AM, you know, in the morning. And, or if I'm going to eat 10 times in one day, small meals. And then I started to lose a lot of weight and not have all this excess stress fat that was building up. So this occurs in your life as well. You guys all know that if something happens and you're super worried about it, now you're losing sleep, throwing your sleep patterns off. You wake up in a deficit. So you eat the fastest, quickest meal that your body's craving. Maybe it's a pop tart, maybe it's high sugared cereal or some coffee. And now all of a sudden you're going down this snowball effect. So it's super, super important to get your mind straight first. I super, super believe and how many times can you count? I've said super, but I, I just really want to stress the point that I firmly believe that mind comes over matter first. It doesn't mean that you're going to close your eyes, meditate, and suddenly you're relieved of your ailments and you're completely free and healed from cancer or like whatever else other people want to say. But I do believe that without it, you're going to be really hard pressed. It's going to be an up 
uphill battle or an upstream battle if your mind is working against you alongside your body. You need your, body, your mind to be your best friend and your ally when it comes to getting in the best fitness possible and to just having the best life possible. So the second thing I want to go over and I'm looking at my notes here is balance and balance is super huge. You're going to hear me say this all the time. There is such a thing as too much and too little. Most of us do too much of the bad stuff, too little of the good stuff, but you can also reverse it. For example, you guys know people who exercise way too much. It becomes this addiction. And I know some of you guys mentioned this being maybe a problem here, but, um, it can be too much just because you're working out 10 hours a day. If you're not giving yourself enough time to rest, then it's too much, right? There needs to be a balance. So often we want to say more, more, more of this or less, less, less of this, but it's not really true. It depends on where you're at. So if uh, you have adrenal fatigue level three or four, like I did in the past, I used to try to work out really hard and I would push myself to work because I thought working out was always good no matter what. And it wasn't like I was working out 10 hours a day. I was just trying to work out every day really good for a solid 40, 45 minutes. But I didn't realize that with the level four adrenal fatigue, this was actually taxing my adrenals more and causing me to backtrack or causing my system to be even more out of balance, causing me more problems and making it harder for me to heal that adrenal fatigue and get in better health. So as I always say, for those of you who ask, if you are interested in more information about adrenal fatigue or whether or not you have adrenal fatigue and what to do about it, I highly, highly recommend getting your hormone levels tested. It might cost two or $300, but I really think at the baseline, getting that along with the consultation or the help from your doctor or your hormone analyst, uh, analyst, then it's super, super worth it. And if you have to save up for it, I mean, your health is, is worth it. It's better to know now and what to do about it than to wait till later when something like cancer or some disease develops. And that's my opinion. I'm also going to be working with some people. I've talked to my hormone uh, analysis person to see if he was interested in coming here and maybe giving you guys a group discount. I can't promise anything, but I want to give you guys the resources too, if that's something you're interested in going forward. So the last thing that I want to get into is to always improve and always focus on growth because you might find yourself at this perfect balance, but if you ever get complacent or stagnant, then there's no such thing as like neutral. That's completely my belief. And this is what I see in life. You're either growing or you're dying. So if you're at a place where you're, let's say in this new workout routine, and some of you guys may relate to this, you might be getting a new workout routine. You're doing great for the first month or two. And then after the second month, you start to plateau and you're thinking what's going on. Why am I not getting the results that I was getting a month or two ago? And the reason is because you're not pushing yourself to grow. You're not inspiring more challenge more stress on the body during your workouts that the body is, is really smart. Our minds and bodies are really smart. It wants to do the easiest, most efficient thing. So when something's easy and efficient, it gravitates towards that, but there needs to be a level of stress, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. I'm not saying again, too much to little, but there's, there has to be this balance because there can be too little stress in our minds and our bodies that keep us from growing. It actually uh, dampers our ability to have a higher threshold threshold or resilience when it comes to life. So when it comes to your workouts, your fitness, and even anything in life, whether it's renewing your new habits or new annual goals or working towards something mentally, emotionally, we always have to be pursuing that path of growth in order to continually improve and get in the right fitness mindset. So we could be fit physically, fit for life and fit mentally and emotionally. So that is my little soapbox for today. I know, um, it's been kind of crazy and I'm trying really hard to get back on schedule, but I really love you guys all being here. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I have some vlog material that I can put together. And also I hope I'm not talking too fast. Some of you guys have been saying that you don't like how fast I talk. This is really my normal flow. If I talk slower then I start stumbling on my words and going in circles. So I did, learn just the other week that there is a speed up, speed down button down below. I think you just click the sprocket or the settings here on the video, and then you can either speed me up or slow me down based on what is more palatable for you. So thank you for those of you who taught me that last week. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up. Let me know if you're going to be joining me on this journey. I'm super excited to get started and leave me your questions, your comments below. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome to the family. I'm going to give you guys a big hug. I've just been feeling so communal and connected lately. 
beautifully and I just love it so much. So thank you guys so much for connecting with me here and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend, okay? Ciao.